Right. But missing a few rests means you're putting them out, which means uh, there's also a chance, like you said, where you'll hit them all, and then that's just a golden True. moment, you know? Oh, oh, and there's one already. Yeah, really fast. But it's a classic, the up tilt rest. Oh, wow. Great read there from Abba going all the way out there for the F smash. Unfortunately, it wasn't a tipper, but that one is, and it's going to seal the deal immediately, evening back up the stocks. Very back explosive back game so stocks. far. What did I say? I caught. I caught. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh another God. one. Oh, my uh, goodness. This was the hardest read. It's an arms race, dude. This is, dude, they're playing their ninja way. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Oh there my it is. god. Yeah, smash again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, uh, back and forth at least. We're gonna oh, see another more rest, rest kills for oh. smash kills. Okay, but rest setups are gonna be quite a lot more difficult now for Jamie. But Jamie is in tipper percentage now. Oh, gets down there, but it's not gonna kill. The and tipper. the tipper as well, yeah. Whew. Reaching off stage for that one. Oh, you're looking for a rest right there as well, but the time's the grab. All right, off stage now. There is a chance to get the edge guard. Gets oh, clipped was... by the uppy though, and the downer. That's oh. gonna do it. There's like no chance for him to come back up. Man, okay. Jamie's game plan really fell apart after the rest was off the table. That was uh, quite unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like his he was like doing all the right things in the edge guard, but he like miscalculated one little thing, and then he just got reversed on like very quickly. I don't know what to say, man. That was insane. Yeah, well, <laughs> I kind of, I, I took it as like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll see a few rests, you know. Oh, Wasabi said, you know, they're going back and forth with rest. S match must be like once a game or something. No, 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 no. Literally all of every game is just hit after hit after what, hit. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? I'm a prophet. Truly. I only watch Ooh. ABBA versus Jamie, actually. I don't even watch my own main. <laughs> and the hey, you, were talking about, you were talking about studying VODs. What you meant was you were studying the VODs. Yeah, exactly. Miss Rest here at the start, and I was oh going to do a quick little combo here with a couple grabs. 63% of that? That's insane. That was very, like, very custom as well. Yeah, good Rest punish there. But again, going in for the grab when Puff is crouching, and the rest as well, the 63% could help out here. Maybe he'll get the kill, but... Oh, no! Yeah, he went for the immediate tipper. I like it, though. Like, you need to get these stocks as soon as possible, especially on Dreamland, right? He gets another one. How is Abba finding these tippers, man? I mean, the Crouch Cancel F Smash is kind of goaded. I, I don't see Marts doing it. Again, we're used to seeing Zane dash dance Puffs into ob Oblivion, but... Crash Cancel F Smash seems goaded, I gotta say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I well, guess it kind of depends. One. Yeah. I guess it kind of depends on how well the puff is spacing as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would is matter, it? like, their drift after the bear. So, I, I kind of find it kind of interesting that last time uh, Abba had opted for the grab combo on the rest punish, but this time charging neutral B instead. I guess feeling out, like, what works better in this specific matchup, or this specific case, I guess, like, player matchup, not character matchup. Yeah, maybe he wasn't sure about what to do when Puff was at different percent percentages, right? Oh my god, another missed grab with the crouching Puff. That's gonna be rest. Oh my Ooh. god, the immediate answer with the perfect spacing down air. Uh, down smash, I should say. Dude, that's always hype when it hits. Oh, I thought that was gonna be another rest. It sucks as well, because it looks like Abba understands that about the dash grab mechanic, where you can actually grab a crouching Puff if you do like the correctly spaced dash grab with Marth, but just keeps missing it. Oh, oh, uh, what? what? All right, this is Sunday beatdown anymore. Oh, this it is Sunday beatdown. Oh, all right, he's going for the grab combo here, no doubt. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Back in oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who says that puff games are slow, right? Ooh, yeah, this is wild. This... Especially for a Dreamland game, like this is a uh, very high octane. This is faster than most fox titles, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. At this point, the foxes would be lasering each other with like three stocks left each. Yeah, 100%. One's on side <laughs> platform, the other one's on the center, asking the other one to come down. <laughs> oh, another great grab, and he finds the Becker. That was such a nice read from, wow, from Jamie. And he actually brought it back after getting tippered like that. And wow, oh, that was a nice edge guard as well. Very sick. Yeah. It all hinged on that edge guard. I think that game was like the big big swing because like it was just such a rough way that game one ended so to at least like take a game right now is 
now we're at a best of three. I arguably say game two is is sometimes the most important game in a in a five game set, but that's my hot take. No, definitely. I think I think I'd agree with you there. I mean, game one obviously has its merits, giving counter pick advantage, everything. But if you lose game two and go down two zero, it's you know your work is so much more like not uh, you have so much more work cut out for you there. It's very difficult yeah. to climb back from that, especially if there's like very polarizing stages like Dreamland for 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 Marth Puff or or you know FD for Marth Fox. Having to play two of those games, having to win two of those stages is going to be very difficult. But I mean, um, having taken it so close on Dreamland, Abba is definitely poised to do really well here, unless, unless, unless. Less. Oh yeah, we know this grab combo. Oh no, another missed grab, and now. Oh, I really thought that that Jamie's gonna get some crazy combo into rest again. He's crouch the tomahawk there. That was pretty wild. Yeah, Abba's really swinging now, just trying to find a hit. Oh, oh no! Is this where Abba loses it? Yeah, it really depends. I mean, I'm, I've always been in... Oh, oh my, my god! god. What? what? Jamie! You, Stop. You, think, you just think, you know, oh, he, he missed the up tilt. He got, the, he got a crouch cancelled, it's all good. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. I don't think Three. Jamie thinks. I think he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got the stock. Down but not out, although almost out, I have to say. Yeah. All right. I mean, you know, anything can happen, though. That is true. That is true. Oh, oh again, clipped by the upbeat. I feel like if Jamie had like some edge guards, this game, this game would be over. And, and yeah, talk about edge guards, or or not. Ooh, great <laughs> timing there from Abba, though, getting back to stage like that. That was very tricky. All right, there's another F match. So clearly Abba could have done this without the uh, getting rested, you know, a couple times, but... I mean, it could still happen, you never know. Still, yeah, I mean, I'm not counting him out, but it's just looking very difficult at this point. Because Puff can yeah. even go out there and sacrifice uh, himself. Oh, another great recovery, exactly the same uh, recovery actually as the last stock. And Observation not gonna kill. That has to do it, yeah. Jamie takes game three. I mean, the first, like, 45 seconds was absolutely nutty. Yeah, yeah. it feels, uh, feels bad as a former Marth main to watch that <laughs> layout, but, uh, I mean, I'm glad Jamie managed to pick it up, because that first game was very, uh, unfortunate for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm just very impressed with how aggressively Jamie is playing in neutral as well, right? He's, like... Going in for those empty hops, like crouch, and then, you know, av avoid the grabs or whatever Marth strung out at him and just immediately countering with some crazy option into rest, like. Yeah, I mean, it's the high risk, high reward, but that's what you want for top eight, honestly. That's what we want on commentary. But I mean, I gotta say, ABBA, I've seen, I've seen ABBA make comebacks like this on Sunday Beatdown, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. I think, yeah, stage switch is really good. This and was more what I was kind of hoping for earlier, I think. <laughs> FD is a weird pick for me. Uh, I, th I think it depends on the Marth archetype, right? If you really like to you just know, space around someone... Oh my god, finds another pivot tip. Very nice to kill early. <laughs> Come yeah. here. True, true. I was very good at those uh, pivot tippers as well. So that's good on him. Oh, and, but you know, Jim is also very good at holding down. So. Just gets a couple damage there, doesn't opt for the uh, back throw combo again. I guess just trying to keep it mixed up, you know. You have to make sure you throw in some uh, grab combos where you just forward throw so that they're not ready for the back throw when it comes out. Ooh, I like that pound. What? This is crazy. Oh, man. And yeah, Jamie just staying on the edge there, not phased by it at all. <laughs> but Abba's not phased either. Oh, my Ninja way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's happening, man. Like, this is so explosive. I'm not used to seeing people play like this, right? You have to come down. You have to come come to Sunday Beatdown sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should. I like when, like, like Aberv's not looking for the F smashes. Aberv walls Jamie really well. Yeah. And I think it's it's just really the, the overextensions with the grab and F smash that have really... Uh, is the reason why Abba is, is down at the moment. Yeah, more aerials can put in a lot of work uh, zoning Puff out, mostly just because you don't even have to hit them, really. You just have to make sure you're commanding that space. Just give Puff no opportunity to drift oh. in. 
don't know, man. I feel like Abish is very good at reading whatever Jamie's gonna do in neutral, but Jamie's explosive combo game is so strong that he's just keeping it close every time. But the assisted tipper there with the shy guys. Oh, again, crouching under the grab and just snipes the ledge there. Oh, great. That was a great grab. <gasps> no, oh, that what? Was, that was so scary for Jamie. That could have been very bad for him. It was the same situation we've seen where he gets clipped by the uppie in the end, you know, coming back to the ledge. Oh, that tipper is not going to be enough, though. Great DI from Jamie. That's exactly what he might need. Oh, oh, he, oh That was exactly what he needed, but Abba's like, no. Just does the, you know, you would say it's a bad roll where you roll into the edge of the platform there, but Jamie was obviously expecting the roll away. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Their implementation on, on for crouch cancel is actually insane on both ends, like offensively and defensively for both players. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's it. No jump. Ah, it's done. Wow. Jamie takes it 3-1 over Abba. I mean, that's that's really sick. Like, yeah. 